Like a shrimp. Shrimp? I know you're not coming at my height looking like Dumbledore. <laughs> he said Dumbledore, cause you're old. <laughs> I know you're not laughing. Looking like you just finished your scenes in the movie Hocus Pocus. Yeah, you should cast a spell on that nose. <laughs> I found another jewel. Nobody cares, yellow. Yeah, nobody likes to be yellow. It's like the worst color. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be talking about the vintage board game, Labyrinth. Uh, this is a game by Ravensburger. So this has been around since 1986. That was when the first one came out. And this game is super unique and honestly one of the few vintage board games I'm going to review that you can still kind of find in print. And I say kind of because the original one obviously is out of print, but they have done a lot more printings afterwards and this game is great. In fact, you can find it at like a local Target. Uh, I did notice that they had a Harry Potter version out. The only problem I had with that version is they had kind of the faces of the characters on the tiles rather than like the um, spells or, or maybe even the wands would have been a better choice. But the game itself, fantastic. The strategy is actually there surprisingly. So you deal out the cards, um, there's four players that can play, um, deal out all the cards, and without looking at all of them, you look at the top jewel or um, the top treasure on the stack and you have to move your character around to get to that point. Now there is a labyrinth, <laughs> if you're not familiar, it's like a mouse um, path where you're trying to get the cheese, in this case you're trying to get the jewel or the treasure. Now while you are trying to get these, other players can utilize the extra piece to push the tiles through to the other side to try to move around. Now while you're trying to get yours, they're also trying to get theirs so they can constantly move the board too, making it a lot more chaotic. So kind of planning ahead is really crucial in this game. And one of the cool things is being able to push your character out to go to the other side to kind of get across the board. There is a lot of strategy here. And while you can only look at one treasure at a time, it's still great. Sometimes you'll get lucky and get a couple back to back really close and then the last few end up being across the entire map. I find it to be very entertaining and when you know someone's about to win because after they collect all the treasures they have to go back to home base and if they do not obviously they can't win. So once you notice someone else is there and you still trying to get your treasure you can still use the little tile pieces to try to push them off and make it so they can't get back to uh, their home base so there's still strategy whether or not trying to win yourself or dictate who is not going to win and even though it seems all unfair when there's a player targeted in the game it is still pretty completely fair i'm going to be completely honest with you still being able to gauge and figure out how to get around while everyone else is trying to take you out is still very hard especially when you're still trying to play the game because if you're focused on one player the other player behind them is going to win and it's every time i've played it thus far it's been a pretty close game I'm a huge fan of it. It looks amazing on the on the table. Uh, the pieces are high quality, really thick pieces of card um, card stock that slides in the tile pieces, and then obviously the miniatures look fantastic. They're not overly detailed, but they don't have to be. Um, the game itself is very cheap. I believe at like Target, for example, where you can still buy it, uh, maybe 20 bucks. Check out your local game shop too. I always want to encourage that because there's always a great community. I'm sure in your area, just look out for it. But that's honestly all I have to speak on behalf of the game. The game has a lot of strategy, it's fun for the whole family, easy to teach, and it, even though it seems like a pretty large stack of treasures in the game, it doesn't take very long to complete. So that is one of the reasons why I like it more than anything. It was a game I initially played and thought, wow, this is going to take forever as a two-player game, and it turned out really well. Again, um, fun for the whole family. Again, I highly recommend it. Labyrinth by Ravensburger, but that is honestly all I have for you guys today. Again, uh, if you do want notifications for my new videos, there is a bell up there somewhere. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous, and with your guys' help, I have been doing so, so I do appreciate any feedback. I am implementing as much as I can. 
Again, Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly update slash talks. And then on Friday is my vintage board game reviews. That is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time.